What's going on Madden fans? So Madden 17 has released yet another title update and we're going to go through some of the things that are supposedly uh, supposed to be fixed. Um, we're going to look at this real quickly. I'm not going to go through everything in depth, but I will tell you that I've played the game and with the way that I play the game, I have no new information to report. It's still the same gameplay. Everything is still the same as far as what I do. But for a lot of the people that motion their wide receivers and stuff like that and try to get speed bursts, it's a wrap. And I want to say something about that. I don't know how you guys feel, but I don't think that it's fair if they're going to play the tournament with the finalists in the Madden Classic with this new update. Because everybody, as bad as it is with a lot of the, uh, the speed bursts and things like that, that's how these guys lab the game. That's what EA provided them. I think that they should be able to play the game without this patch. All right, I just wanted to get that out there. Give me a like if you agree. Even if you don't agree, give me a like, whatever, just click the like button. But I'm just saying, it's in fairness, because we only get what they give us. So if we practice what they give us and get good at what they give us, it doesn't make sense that these particular guys that have made the, you know, that have made the Madden Classic Finals should have to deal with that. I'm gonna actually look into that to ask if they are going to be playing with the new title update, because that's just outright not fair. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things really quickly though, the gameplay. Address some rat catch animations that were incorrectly triggering drops in certain situations. Um, I'm here to report that I'm going to be giving you guys some gameplay soon. They still drop the ball the same way. It's sickening. It disgusts me. It's still part of the game. Address certain situations where ice the kicker was not triggered, even though conditions were met. I was freezing myself by calling timeout. So I, I never seen that where, you know, if I choose to call a timeout to like talk to my kicker, like, yo, listen. You're a douchebag, and you're probably going to miss the kick, but try not to miss it. And then he gets iced. It, it, it was a lot of crit. I, I don't know. I haven't tried that part. I haven't been in the situation yet with the ice to kicker, but that's oh, that, that's been a mess since Madden 17 was released. Fixed issue where catching a missed field goal in the end zone caused the position of the ball and the direction of the play from the field goal play to be used in the play following the turnover. That never happened to me, but I'm glad it's fixed because it just it sounds stupid the way I just read it. Address certain instances of defenders traveling across the field when the defensive play is flipped instead of switching assignments. I don't think I have auto flip off. I don't know if that has something to do with it. I don't what, whatever new features EA usually comes up with. I generally don't use just for the simple fact that I've been playing Madden since Sega Genesis. And it's always been an issue with things that they put in the game. So anything that, you know, I think would probably affect the way I usually play it. I don't have a part in it. I don't know if auto flipping has something to do with that. But I digress. Fixed issue where receivers were getting a speed boost by timing the snap with motioning. That is a major thing that I just finished speaking about right now because a lot of guys are going to suck. Because we all know 95% of the, you know, the, um, you know, the top 20 players, they run bunch. And what do you do? You come out in verticals, you motion that guy. You come out in strong close, you motion that guy. You come out in, um, you know, tight. Uh, you know, tight, whatever, tight, tight end, whatever, you know, the formation is, motion the guy, he, he does that. Now, when you motion him, oh my goodness, the guy stops for like two seconds, so that's over with. And that's what I was saying. I just hope that they don't do that for the players that are playing right now, because I think that a lot of those guys use that as part of their offense. If you want to do it for the next tournament, that's fine, but it just seems pretty abrupt to do that now. Fix several fatigue issues related to the weather, temperature, penalties for the away team, whatever. Fix an issue where you... Where using the give up mechanic after recovering a fumble will cause the player to fumble again. If that ever happened to me, I would have probably already broken the game. Fix an issue where users could consistently place the ball in the coffin corner on a kickoff with an inaccurate kick. Oh wow, I, I've never, I don't think I've experienced that. Fix an issue in 3-4 under where safety was taking himself out of the play versus outside runs. Wow, and it was only in 3-4 under? Wow, okay. Fix the rare issue where the QB would pass the ball backwards when attempted to throw while crossing the line of scrimmage. What? What? But it's still it's still an illegal forward pass. Whatever. I'm not going to try to hurt my brain figuring out what, what I was even happening. Fixed an issue where user could ice their own kicker when calling a timeout during a field. That was me. I just said that. Yeah, that was me. That was me. Thank you, EA. Fix an issue where a successful fake field goal run. Field goal run would result in the player being called out of bounds. What? Fix an issue where a successful fake field goal run would result in the player being called out of bounds? That was happening? There's a lot more going on in Madden 17 that I just don't know about. Guys, feel free to leave some of the comments that let, you know, one of your most ridiculous things, because, you know, other than the mannequin challenge and guys just dropping every pass and, you know, ridiculous animations, um, I'm not really having too much of an issue. 
uh, fixed an issue where the player icons were displaying gray color for fatigue on the play call screen. What? I, I fixed an issue where the ball would rarely hit the fullback when running halfback lead toss out of I form tight. Wow. Fix an issue where the wind direction arrow was backwards in CFM. Are you I, I, mean, I have a CFM. I've never seen that. Fix an issue where increasing the fumble slider was not causing more fumbles. Okay. Fix an issue where defenders were not always being credited with a sack and force fumble in the stat screen when causing a sack fumble. W whatever, bro. Added mutt head to head seasons. Okay, so they're gonna take away something and give it back to us, and now it's new. Added Super Bowl presentation to appropriate mutt head to head games. Okay. Added the ability to give rewards after each mutt head to head game rather than waiting until the event is over. That's huge. That I like that. Added additional logic to tell how many items you have available to add to a particular set. How many? Okay, I gotta see how you do that now. I'm gonna be checking that in a second. I'll get back to you guys with that. Commentary. The commentary has really been, um, uh, I don't know how to explain garbage for a long time. Um, they say things that have nothing to do with what's going on, but let's see what they did. New lines and logic added for post PAT scenarios. This is previously a spot in the game where we had no commentary. New additional names added for our, you know, running backs, QBs, kickers, punters, and wide receivers. New post play analysis from the team for various different situations. Refresh common touchdown analysis lines and added additional logic and lines to fire new situational commentary. Hundreds of new lines added to the play the moment to provide more variety during during return to game scenarios. Legends names added. Numerous tuning changes based on common line tele telemetry. Is that is that how you say that? Telemetry. Uh, it has to be how you say it. That, that uh, whatever. Uh, stability. Various stability fixes in all modes, including franchise and Madden Ultimate Team. So these are your patch notes for the uh, for Madden as of November 30th. And like I said, the biggest issue was I think a lot of the top players that uh, motioned all this and motioned all that and got the speed burst, that's going to be huge because even if you change the route to a streak, it reverts back to what the original route was if they weren't originally on a streak. And regardless, it's a delay. I want to know what you guys are thinking about the Madden 17 title update. Let me know. Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to G Myers World for more gameplays and more information. Until next time, one love.